Another week, another high-profile visit. Jeffrey Feldman, UN Undersecretary General for Political Affairs, is leading a high-level delegation for talks with government officials and civil society organizations. This afternoon, he called on the President, His Excellency Adam Abaro, and the two had discussions on a wide range of issues, including the role of the United Nations in helping the country emerge from its transition from a dictatorship to a democracy. The UN had played a critical role in helping resolve the political crisis, dispatching an envoy, Mohammed bin Chambers, to join West African leaders to convince former President Jame to give up power. The world body has resolved to continue this support by deepening its engagement to help the government overcome its current challenges. After 22 years of, of one type of rule, there are many challenges ahead in terms of full respect for human rights, in terms of national reconciliation, in terms of involving youth, involving women at all levels of governance. These, these challenges are, are obviously enormous, but the United Nations is committed to being a partner with the people and government of the Gambia going, going forward. The battle-led coalition government is barely two months old and has already won the confidence of the international community. Mr. Feldman believes he should therefore embrace and engage all stakeholders with a view to resolve all the issues. It's extremely important in our, in our view for the government um, to be moving ahead decisively um, and for the, for, the, for the government to be, to be maintaining um, a conversation with civil society, with the Gambian people, so the Gambian people feel that their views are being reflected in the decisions going forward so that they understand um, how their votes have translated into, into action. Based on the request and consent of the government, the UN is willing to work with donor partners to coordinate and guide their interventions. It could also utilize its vast experience to help in security service reforms and capacity building as these are crucial elements of the new government's priority list. Momo Rujalo, GRTS News.